What makes a quiet town turn into a scene of a crime thriller? This question might have been on the minds of the residents of Stockton, California, a city rocked by a series of chilling murders that turned their peaceful community into a real-life crime scene. In the span of five months starting from April to September, a string of six murders sent shockwaves through the city. The victims, with ages ranging from 21 to 54, appeared to have no connection to each other. The only link was the method of their untimely demise. All were victims of fatal shootings. In a chilling twist, one survivor was shot in Oakland, suggesting the killer's reach extended beyond Stockton. The local police, desperate to solve the case, released surveillance footage of a person of interest. This footage, coupled with forensic ballistics evidence, painted a chilling picture of a potential serial killer on the loose. The police chief believed the killings were mission-oriented, though the motive remained unclear. In an attempt to gather more information, a hefty reward of $125,000 was offered for information leading to an arrest. The efforts of the police and the community did not go in vain. On one fateful day, the suspect, a man named Wesley Brownlee, was apprehended while driving in the city. Dressed in dark clothing with a mask around his neck, he was found in possession of a firearm. The same type of weapon, the police believed, was used in the series of murders. Brownlee's arrest marked a turning point in the case. Charged with six counts of murder, he was set to appear in court with the eyes of Stockton and indeed the nation watching closely. The motive for the killings, however, remained a mystery. Today, the city of Stockton has regained some semblance of peace, but the memory of those five months lingers. The case serves as a stark reminder of the thin line that separates peaceful communities from the chilling scenes of crime thrillers. The case of the Stockton serial killer, as it has come to be known, remains open. The motive is still under investigation, and the court proceedings against Wesley Brownlee are ongoing. The residents of Stockton, while relieved, continue to seek answers. They hope that justice will be served and that they can finally put this harrowing chapter of their city's history to rest.